shake that dick, man. Can I can I <laughs> shake that dick, miss? All right, we're we're live on YouTube. <laughs> hey, what, hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me, today, oh man. <laughs> oh man, shake that thing. <laughs> shake that. Hey, can we try to get the sound? Because right now I'm just using like the computer sound. One time I w I could hear the board. Yeah, the problem is when I plug when I do that with my computer, it adds a high pitched squealing noise to our audio. Yeah, like this. It's like that, but a little bit less. But it's persistent, like that cat. Shake that thing. <laughs> persistent. I. I'm a big Sean Paul fan now that I've my eyes have been opened. I can tell that you, because of how quickly you made up that song, I can tell that you've been listening to that song. You really dived into his court, to his uh, discography. <laughs> I have, yeah. Spent a lot of time on the road. Spent a lot of time. God, listen to Sean Paul. Jake sexy ladies in the barber does it in the car with us that sit next to us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, these are all good songs they're good i mean not wrong it's definitely not wrong sanitize <laughs> what you're saying? <laughs> let's get it on to the early morning Yo, you just turn, turn me on, on. Turn me on. Turn me on. Turn me on. How bizarre, how bizarre. That's my favorite Sean Paul song. <laughs> All right. I can see it through the window. <laughs> like in the darkening of the curtain that's going back and forth. Taylor, what's up, man? Uh, so Shaggy's kind of the same artist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. They're both from Kingston. I would say he's a... I would say he's a very different artist. He has one song. Uh, Shaggy yeah. came before. Yeah, he, he only has one song. Shag Shaggy paved the way. He walked. He walked so Sean Paul could run. Mm -hmm. That's so true. Agreed. How do I? Nobody's made like a recap, or I can't find one. I'm doing a free agent tracker, and it's got everybody that's a free agent. And that's not good. Oh my God, Sh Shaggy has three songs. Shaggy has three songs. Uh, remember this song, Mr. Boomtastic, very fantastic. Of course, we remember that song. Okay, yes. Okay, okay that's, that's Shaggy. Paving the way. Ooh, man. Remember this one, my angel. Girl, you're my angel. Oh, hey, you're my Shaggy, dude. Morning, angel. See, he sang that. This girl is closer than his peeps. Are to him. His, his I want a donation. Every situation. He sucks. No, he's great. All right, let's I call go. Mr. Bombastic. Very fantastic. <laughs> oh, that's good, man. It's that's, like borderline Schmeagel. <laughs> the cover of Mr. Bombastic. <laughs> very fantastic. All right, let's do this. Oh, shoot. <laughs> seven, it's not 701. What is it? 704. 704. Cool. All right, cool, man. Jay, just, just do what you need to do. All right, here we go. I'm Stephen Adams. This is down to Doug. I'm I'm miffed and paved. That's not the words. What do I say? Hello, I'm Alex Sabrinis. I'm not miffed and paved. I'm about to dunk. I'm not miffed and piffed. Hello, I'm Alex Sabrinas. I'm not miffed and piffed. I'm down to dunk. I'm Stephen Adams. I'm not miffed and paid. I am down to dunk. Yo, this PG and I'm down to dunk. Good morning and welcome. Episode seven. Zero. 
four of down two dunk you can find us on tlns media at hunter.com that's radio 5 10 central standard time monday wednesday friday or of course anywhere you subscribe to your podcast or watch a streaming the podcast live on youtube on our tripod tripod i am luke joined this morning by andrew slam through taylor she called me Mr. Bombastic, semi-fantastic, slam through. <laughs> <laughs> and Jay. It's Jay. Taylor, did you have a different song prepared other than that? <laughs> yeah, I had one. I had one yesterday. And, shake uh, that I, thing. <laughs> shake that thing. Shake that thing. Shake that dick, girl. <laughs> I had one yesterday, uh, and then I drank a bunch of beers. Okay. <laughs> then I drank a bunch of beers. Sounds all right. Big old glass of wine. <laughs> Big old glass of wine. So, hey, it's free agency. Hey, it's free agency. And what starts tomorrow for the Thunder? Summer League. It starts today for everybody, right? Mm-hmm. I think tonight the uh, Knicks play the Pelicans. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. fun. A little Barrett versus Zion. So... Free agency is basically over. We're just waiting on Kawhi Leonard. That's it. And then all, like, literally, it'll be like a mad rush to sign all of these other people. Which here's what I appreciate about Kawhi. If he doesn't go to the Lakers, yeah, is that he basically dried the entire market up for them. He did, way, and I love it. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> he and Danny Green will probably stay in Toronto, which I, it's fantastic. It'd be great. It'd be Mr. Bombastic. Very fantastic. <laughs> um, so you know who they'll sign? The Lakers. Yep. Boogie, KCP, yeah, maybe Boogie, Marcus Morris, yeah. I don't know why the Celtics just don't throw an offer back at Marcus Morris. By the way, anyway, uh, yeah, I don't know. Did I say KCP? I think Marcus Morris is part of the problem for them last year too. It wasn't maybe. all just Kyrie. Maybe I don't know. He's a gigantic weirdo. I know, but they had a lot of weird things going on. True. true, true, true. Justin Holiday would make sense probably for the Lakers. Sure. Yeah. I don't know. I love it. It makes me very happy. Like Jay, all the you're peop- crazy. All the people that the Lakers were talking that they were like, "Oh, the Lakers need to go get this guy, and they need to get this guy, like JJ Redick." And no, they're because it was like, if you don't, if you can't get a star, you, then you just split, split it up in between. between. Yeah, can't do that. Can't do it if they're not available. Nope. How, how do you feel about that, Taylor? I was thinking about fans, man. You know, for how ridiculous Lakers fans are. It's unbelievable that Knicks fans can be even worse than that. Lakers fans and Knicks fans are the worst, right? Because they just assume that everything great's going to happen for them. Well, for the Lakers, the it does. Yeah, they have a reason to believe it. It's literally they Wilt Chamberlain, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, off. They literally left their teams to come play for the Lakers. Shaq, Shaq, Kobe. Pau Gasol, the Mark Gasol trade, right? Like, Pau Gasol, stupid Pau Gasol trade. And they still, it's funny that they like, they complain about the Chris Paul trade like being rescinded when I it's like, yeah. Dave Stern, which yeah. funny, like in hindsight, you're like, you probably should just let that happen. Yeah, because, yeah, for sure. I'm not sure. I mean, but they get LeBron Chris and Chris Paul was good then. It though. was really good. And yeah, they get LeBron and AD, and then they're like, man, we got, man, we got to get Kawhi. They're like not happy with LeBron <laughs> and AD. I can't yet. believe we're not going to get Kawhi. No Laker fan was celebrating AD and LeBron. They're like, this <laughs> only works if Kawhi comes. How dumb do you think Anthony Davis feels for giving up four million dollars to create all the space? And it's like <laughs> for uh, Kawhi to be the star for, of that team for or for KCP and yeah. Justin Holiday and Boogie. Wait, we did this so I could, they could give Marcus Morris fifteen million dollars. <laughs> like right. what? Yeah, I'd be a little frustrated. <laughs> He's making it back in the Space Jam contract. <laughs> I know. It, Man, yeah. It's the boss. That is. So, okay. So, Taylor. Say me fantastic. What is, and maybe this is a question for everybody. So far in free agency, is there anything that shocked you? Anything that you're excited about and anything that you're like, why? Uh, it shocked me a little. The Andre Iguodala thing shocked me a little bit. Mm-hmm. And deloading to Golden State was shocking. Uh, but more shocking was how Andre knew he was going to get traded, so he just started talking crap on Golden State on all the shows. He did for I real. I love that. Scorched I did on not expect that. I really did not expect that. Um, yeah, that was cool. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> that was great. I like that. <laughs> I did. I like that. I like that, too. 
Yeah. Shocking to me, but really shouldn't be shocking is that no one went to the Knicks and they cleared all that cap space for <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Traded Chris Steps for Zingas. For nothing. And they're just going to be... For just, five guys that play his exact position. Yeah. And so now they have no... But it's very... It's a very Knicks thing to do. They are. They, I mean... Uh, if they had just kept Porzingis, you just you get R.J. Barrett. And then you have like, that... Even if you still have that cap space, then add a piece that makes sense with Porzingis. Well, you make the you make the Iguodala trade yourself and you get two first-round picks from Golden State? Like, why don't you do that? Yeah. Instead, you're just signing all these guys. You're going to pay them some money. The Knicks are going to be nothing next year. They've got Alfred Payton. <laughs> Yeah, Alfred Payton said uh, he represents a true New York Nick. Yeah, he is the perfect Nick. He is. Yeah. A loser. Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. (laughs) This is, it's low key kind of good for them because it forces them to be bad, you know, get high draft picks, slowly rebuild, which is not. They're just terrible. Eventually trade that high draft pick for somebody else, and then they'll be able to sign another five guys like this in four years. So, the one that feels like it's kind of on the peripheral, not being talked about a ton, Jimmy Butler to Miami. Yeah. And I think they're still working out the details six days later. <laughs> I think it's done, right? So Jimmy went there. Yes. Uh, Kelly Olenek and... No. I thought Kelly went to the Mavericks. No, that, that's the deal that was canned. Hassan Whiteside went to the Oh, was Blazers. that part of that, the Portland one? Ah, yes. That, so that... Mark Harkless to the Clippers. Mm-hmm. Huh. That's a new deal. But the Sixers ended up with, uh, oh gosh, Richard, not Richardson, is it? Josh, Josh Richardson. Richardson. Yeah. So they ended up with Josh Richardson. Great get. The Al Horford signing for Philly is kind of, I don't know. I'm not sure I'd get excited about that, but at least he's dude, not playing for I, Boston. Horford's good. He is, but he, dude, he's old. Old, 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 old. But still good. Yeah. He's still good. He's not, he's not dependent on athleticism, though. That's helpful. No. Yeah. What it's else? Any, man. What other moves, Taylor? I mean, you want to talk anything oh, about the Nets man. or the anything? I think the Warriors have had a real rough week or so. It's pretty nice. Mm-hmm. Feels pretty good. Because not only do you deal with the fact that Kevin Durant left, but now his team is starting to leak out all of these just like, I don't know, pretty not devastating, but pretty heavy things to have to walk through for the Warriors. Like, oh, well, they had a problem with Kerr and it was Steph issue and there's all of these like and it just all it does for me is just remind me that Kevin Durant's a big gigantic weirdo yeah yeah he's, he's, a, he's a bad person <laughs> he is a bad person you know what's crazy is uh like KD's on the Warriors and everyone sticks up for them and they're like KD has these great teammates what the hell's that sound so that's, loud. It's a that's Fritter Nation. That's Fritter Nation. It's Fritter Nation, buddy. Fritter Nation. But Golden State's releasing some dirt on KD, and then KD's team is releasing dirt on Golden State. What's it's the like, dirt that, that they're releasing on KD? Um, that he got in a fight with Steph's wife in the locker room, a physical altercation. Uh, okay. You guys didn't hear that? Nope. 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 <laughs> Wow. It's a new. <laughs> Must wow, it's a new wow. Wow. Aisha punched him in the. <laughs> Jejunum, and he punched Aisha. <laughs> in just the left, arm. Just left, all right, there. Okay. Uh, yep, that's shocking. <laughs> you heard it. You heard it here. Reported. Wow. Yeah, the Jimmy Butler thing to Miami. Like that's a that's a weird deal, right? right? Did you see the Reddit post about it? No. He's following the exact same career trajectory as uh, the guy who killed. Um, the la- that was the American Crime Story this season of Versace, the guy who killed uh, Versace, Andrew ki- Cunanan. K- Andrew Andrew Cunanan. He's following his exact <laughs> same city. He killed people in Philadelphia, um, Chicago, Miami, and the other Minnesota. In Minnesota. <laughs> uh, thank That's you. Fun. And so it's and it follows the exact same like. Wow. Yeah. The same order yes. and everything. Yeah. That's. Kind of crazy. <laughs> Reddit, man. <laughs> Chicago, Minnesota, Philly, yeah. Miami. And so uh so Reddit, Reddit is just was on fire with that. That's pretty great. Uh the the Heat aren't gonna be that good, right? No, who they keep? They cor- kept Goron. 
Yeah. They kept Waiters. Yeah. And Butler. Yeah. They still have Kelly Olenek. Still. They oh, traded for Myers that? Leonard, who's oh. going to love being on the beach in Miami. Oh, my gosh. Taylor, how excited are you to see the Myers? You follow him on Instagram, surely, right? It makes sense that Myers Leonard is <laughs> on Miami God, right now. He is such a heat man. Bam um, Adebayo. Yeah. That team's Dude, not... Bam is good. Yeah, that team's going to but... be fine. But like, if you're Jimmy Butler, it's just funny because he's talked about all he wants to do is win, which is just total crap. Yeah, and he said, I will never wear a Miami Heat jersey because of the big three thing, the LeBron thing. Yeah. Do you remember that? He lied. And what's That's funny is that he just wanted to be the guy, right? I sure, mean, that has yes. to be it. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah. And you could just be like, I want to be the guy and I want to be really cool in Miami. And it's like, I respect that. I respect that. But then when you talk he about be like cool in Minnesota. No, 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 no. Like he, I mean, he yeah, Miami, he's super cool. He's the best player. He's gonna He'll just carry torpedo them. everything though. Maybe not because he's the guy. And they're just a bunch of veterans on this team. I mean, they're not even gonna make the pl- are they gonna make the playoffs? I mean, yes, they will make the playoffs. The the bottom of the East is not good still. Yeah. I mean, I, you're right. You're right. You're right. I was I asked somebody this yesterday. Do you think the Pacers would make the playoffs if they were a Western Conference team? Oh yeah. The playoffs. Playoffs? Yeah, okay. I think they I think they're better than the Clippers. Okay, so you're saying for next year? Yeah, yeah. I mean, when so they are going to go back in time? They, they added, I'm saying for this last year, like if they were the same <laughs> same team in 2019, 2013, 2013 have, Pacers. Are they making the playoffs then in the West? Tell me now in the West. No, I mean, are they are they better than the Warriors now? Uh, Steph, no. Draymond, D'Lo. Uh, are they better than the Clippers? They're probably on par with the Clippers. Yeah, it depends. I mean, if the Clippers strike out in free agency, like they'll be running back pretty much the same squad, right? Yeah, we got to think the Lakers are now <laughs> the Lakers. The playoffs. Yeah, Lakers are better than the Pacers. Yep. Uh, maybe, Rob- maybe. I mean, I would assume so, but we don't know what the roster is going to look like. But just with it LeBron, matter. Maybe. They've got you're LeBron. Right. You're right. You're right. You're right. The Rockets are better than the Rockets. No. Are they better than the Pelicans? Yes. Okay. The Nuggets. No. Thunder. No. Blazers. Yes. No. I would say no. No, no. 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 Jazz. No. So they're probably not making the playoffs. Well, that's crazy. Playoffs. I didn't realize how deep the West is. That's now. what I'm talking about. Like the West It's wide open, but it is deep. Because you also right. didn't even mention the Mavericks. Deep and wide. There's a fountain growing deep. There's and wide. a fountain going deep and wide. Thank you for redeeming that moment from where Luke. Yeah. <laughs> I know. That was a lot of uh, uh, You didn't even mention the Mavericks who are going to be improved. I think the Yeah, I don't know. I think they'll be improved. Yeah, I mean, they'll be all right. So the Pacers added Malcolm Brogdon, which I really like. Yeah. They they lost the Bundong. Which is something. It's something. They got TJ Warren. They did. They lost, the, they lost Thad Young. Like Thad Young to Chicago. was really good for them. What is what? Chicago? I don't know. I don't know that I don't know that the Pacers are all that improved. People people like their offseason. But it's it's get healthy. They did a lot of things. If Vic comes back, I mean, what's his timetable look like? I mean, I have no idea. No clue. Are so. we sure they're not better than uh, the Blazers? The Blazers just went to the conference finals. Yeah, but they've lost seven yeah, guys off that team and added Hassan Whiteside. We, we watched their playoff performance, though. That was pretty fluky. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it it kind of was, to be honest, but that's all right. A fluky five games in the first in the first round. God, that was... Uh, first, why are we doing first this? Round, I mean, I don't know. They they went to the conference finals. They still have their two best players. Yeah, but I they lost know. a third Myers Leonard. They did. They, I think there's. I think the white side thing is weird. It's weird. I don't know what to feel about it. I don't like it. I know Alex is a little bit more on the optimistic side, which is so funny. Alex, hear me out, man. You do a great job on Wednesdays. But sometimes, if you use the optimism you had for Portland's moves, for the optim for the pessimism that you have for everything Oklahoma City does, mm-hmm. then you would be fully a part of the optimistic <laughs> fan club that we are. <laughs> it is I weird. It's like beef. it's like no, it'd be like the best chance of hot, like Hassan Whiteside's going to redeem himself in Portland. It's like, uh, what? I'm not sure. There's there's room for that. 
I don't uh, think so. Jay and Alex B. Nah, man, I like 2019. that. 2019. Let's see how this turns out. Any other moves? Any other free agent things? We haven't heard. I mean, I've talked a lot about the Thunder stuff, but I haven't heard any of y'all's opinions on the podcast. That's because I don't have any opinions. Okay. I, re- I mean, <laughs> you look at the Thunder. I look at them. They needed guys. They needed guys. They needed wings. <laughs> I looked at them. They got a guy that can play, and yeah. they have a guy that can contribute things that they need. Yeah. Like to run out a, a, a second unit of, and I, I think there still could be potential um, moves on the way, but you look at. There's for sure moves happening. Schroeder, Burks, Dre. I mean, and then fill in the blanks with whoever. Muscala, Muscala Noel, Noel. And then you can even maybe, and I. I Deontay. I think it could be Deontay. I think Diallo. it could be Diallo. I think it mm-hmm. maybe could be Basley. Probably not, but. But it, I, I think Man, that you all of a sudden get back to that place that you had death. Like Alec switching in for Alex just immediately stabilizes the issue you have because then you don't have to rely on Nader. I mean, don't forget that this team yeah. was relying on Raymond Felton to contribute legitimate minutes in the playoffs. Like it was a thing. So really think about going on from the Raymond wing. Felton to Alec Burks. On the wing. Yes. And not as a point guard. No, he was wing. your shooting guard yeah. for large stretches against the Trailblazers. Like immediately you're better. And and if Muscala just plays with any sort of confidence, like he's already a better stretch. He could be potentially a better stretch option than Patrick Patterson. Like the zero he was this year, all you need is any sort of positive. Um, so I don't know. I mean, Muscala is the one that's like everybody's like, oh, okay. is it Muscala or Muscala? I say Muscala because his nickname's Moose and nobody calls him Musa. Mus. They call him Musky. Oh, okay. So, so Muscala. So now I'm Muscala. I call him Kala Bear. So I, I don't know. I, a... I think adding adding NBA players at minimum deals is a good move for the Thunder. It's what you have to do to build this roster. Unless they, they suck. They suck. Yeah, we assume they're minimum. Yeah, right. Surely, I mean they would. I don't know how else they would pay them. Can you split up your taxpayer, Emily? Yeah. Okay. So maybe that's it, but I doubt it. Taylor, what do you? I mean, you have about any Oklahoma City Center? It's like they're basically the same team as last year. So I don't really. I mean, what changed? Some peripheral pieces changed so far. So. I I've been having way more fun. God bless, man. I mean, yes, well, that is true. of course. No, they did not sign Jimmy Butler. No, they're not. They like for this team's moves, like it has to be that those peripheral pieces and those peripheral pieces change the freaking team. They matter. They matter. I think the Bur- really <laughs> Taylor would like to disagree. <laughs> I think the Burks one matters quite a bit just because they didn't have a good replacement. Um for Alex whenever he left the team and they were just kind of I scrambling. Do, I do really like Burks because that has a little bit of a kind of how D De- what Dion's role was when he was on the team. Yeah. That's kind of the same idea with Burks, right? He's going to share ball, ball handling duties mm-hmm. and uh, shoot the ball a little bit and play off the ball with Dennis. It, what's crazy is my last memory of Burks because last year was such an odd year for him was, <clears throat> when game five against the Jazz, the year that they lost to the Jazz, when Rubio goes down, Burks is the one that really was who I noticed being the one that stepped up to actually kind of fill that spot in that game they lost. I mean, obviously Donovan Mitchell, but yeah, you know, Burks played a lot of minutes in that last game. So, I, I mean, I think it's anytime you can get guys, like I said, he's got a relatively high IQ, like plays, he can dribble, he shoots, I think, 35% career, which is not great, but it's not, capable. Yeah, it's what is that? Is it league average? Yeah. I mean, that's better than Schroeder, better than Markeith did, better than Patterson, better than Felton, better than what Abrina shot, better than Nader, better than Burton. Yeah. Better than all those guys last year. Yeah. And then Moose, I, Moose, Musk, Musky Moose. The Musky Moose is, uh, I think he was a 34.5% career. Yeah. He had a down year, but, and he may not play. I mean, Muscala may not pe- play a ton, but if you're going to fly to Minnesota to, I don't know, man. Play. I'm not a. That's I'm the just, most embarrassing. I'm not a believer. I, maybe I'm going to be proven wrong, but like the more that I look into Muscala, I'm just like I just I don't know. Like he's a capable shooter, but I think you would hope that like Deontay could take his minutes. Right. We're about to see tomorrow. 
tomorrow we will it will be defined, defined. tomorrow in the first oh, summer league man. i am super excited to watch them play i know man it's gonna be awesome i'll be there Taylor, any Not other yet. free agents? Uh, I have a qu- well. I have a or question anything, about yeah. summer league. Mm-hmm. Um, is Basley going to play or no? We oh. we have a Twitter question about that, and Brett has said this, and so has Eric. Is that so? Diallo last year was this a similar situation, and ended up showing up to the first game because they made the deal quickly. But what Brett and Eric have both brought up is since he's a clutch, since Basley's a clutch client there will be a little more negotiating on his his initial salary and the way Brett said it is it's the they're not slotted like it's guaranteed since he's 21 that this is what or 23 or whatever but instead you can go for 80 percent or like 120 percent and mm-hmm. so most sign for 120 yeah so rich Paul is going to negotiate that and if so if there's any sort of you know slow down in the negotiations that means that he can miss it all but I mean I I don't, I don't know. Maybe Presty just says, all right, take just, 120. You just see. pay him 120 I know, that's what I'm saying. of his rookie scale. Yeah, it's so, not that much. What's your guess? Do you think he'll play? I do. I think so, too. I think the Thunder want to see him play. I don't, and I think Baisley wants to play. Yeah. He hadn't played on you know organized basketball in forever. Hopefully, he still knows how. He may have completely forgotten. Now, the, uh, be the, rusty. the hard <laughs> part, though, is like you can't technically communicate about this until the sixth, right? Yeah. But there's probably some back channel uh, secret well, secret meetings. If free agency tells us anything, right? Like, there is only back channel. So basically like Rich Paul and Baisley and Sam yeah. Presti are going to be in no, Vegas no. tonight. I mean, Rich Paul is Terrence Ferguson's too. and Nerlens Noel's agent. It's yeah. not like they don't deal with them. But they're going to I'm saying like they could be in Vegas tonight at 12:01 to sign the deal and have him ready to play like he yeah. could there could be back channels where it's like hey you probably want to be in vegas and let's get this done deal oh yeah yeah, yeah. you for, know like for sure i mean conversations I, where it's like hey we can get him signed in a jersey and playing by the time we play that's it totally tomorrow. possible i don't I, I don't have any information whatsoever yeah. on that um and i don't think anybody does and so i think i just don't see why he wouldn't want to play like well, i think he would for sure you're right because if you can show out in summer league like that's that's a that can be a big deal for rookies, whether or not he's good in yeah. real NBA life or not. Like that, people people are watching summer league. Those those games are going to be packed, and I think he'd be really fun with Deontay and Diallo because he is a good passer. It will be a blast to watch that team. Yeah. That'll be fun. Juwan Evans running point. Herbie. Herbie's going to be fun. It's going to be it's going to be really interesting to see who's who kind of rises to the top of that team and who plays the best like Hervey's like a, he's a candidate to be the best player on the summer league team and people aren't really thinking about him a whole lot they're thinking about Deontay and and Hami uh, but Hervey's got a chance to kind of stick out a little bit on that team so it'll be it'll be interesting uh, Abdul Nader his guarantee date is today and so if you don't hear any news on Abdul it means that his uh, contract is guaranteed. So I would guess that you guys are listening to this around 4 o'clock and you're also hearing the news right now that right. He's, been, he's been waived. Uh, but that's it's an interesting one. To me, I think they should just waive him. He's a, shoot, he's a shooter that shot 32% from three last year. Yeah. He had ample opportunity. Like, I just don't think... And he's slow and he's not a good defender and he doesn't do a whole lot. I think they should just waive him. I would rather give a chance to a, a different young guy and just cycle somebody else through. Yeah. Or bring Ray Felton back. Because right now they don't have a roster spot. And Patterson will probably be gone. And Nader will probably be gone. I just think it's better to to cut bait on both those guys. Yeah, it shouldn't be difficult. I mean, I, what do you think you have to attach to Patterson to get somebody to just take his contract? Future second. Probably. That's it, right? Like you could give that Memphis future second and that's, Patterson. To that's that's the, the idea that I have in my head. I don't know if that's accurate. You don't need a first for no, five no, no, million. No, no, not for five. Okay. If you're dealing Robertson and they don't think that he has any value on the court, then yeah. That's why you, for Robertson, like just let him play. Could, if he you, can play, you could deal trade with, him in February. Yeah, trade him at the deadline. Yeah. Or if he's really good, keep him. Yeah. If he's, I, if I, he's I, good, I mean, so he's going to play significant I, minutes. I, I, I think the conversation I keep having in my head mm-hmm. is this is your window. 
I mean, it's the this window. is it. This is your year to do whatever you need to do to try to win. And if Dre comes out and he is 90% of what he was, 92%, let's say. Sure. 91. 92.3. Even what? better. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, just raise it. But if, if Dre is just anything more. like he was, mm -hmm. that raises this team ceiling substantially. Like a, they would be in a big way. Oh, horrible to play on. Deep and like their defense will be unbelievable. It'd be great if that's who they are. Bombastic, very <laughs> fantastic. So you have all of these things. It's like, why not? If you get through halfway through the season and you're looking at this team and you're like, man, like we can, we are legitimate contenders. Yeah, let's just swallow the tax bill, cut the pieces we can, mm -hmm. and just deal with it because I mean, we could actually get to the championship this year. Yeah, it's and wide I, open. And if Dre is good. I think that uh, it opens up room to even make Steven Adams trades that yeah. uh, make sense for you. Like a Kevin Love deal. Like if Dre can play and play a lot of minutes and if, you know, you ha you still have Jeremy Grant, you have Paul George, you have Terrence Ferguson, like you have all these defenders. I think that opens up room to go, to go get a guy like that. Yeah. That can really shoot it. That can be your third score on a night in night out basis. I think that it makes sense. I think it makes more sense that way. If Dre can't play and then up trading him, I think that gets a little bit more difficult in my mind. Yeah. What happened with Nerland's Noel? Well, he was like signed with us and it was like, wait, something there's something weird going on. And then it's like, no, he's still dead. Do we didn't do it? Will we ever know? I don't know. I mean maybe. We still don't have the terms of his deal. We still don't have the terms of Burke's or uh, Muscala's, Muscala's deal. We don't have, We don't know. And so, to me, there was the uh, the weird report that Nerland signed a minimum deal. I don't know if that's true or not. If he did, then I think that he's just coming to be the backup again. Yeah. My, at Mind E Night, Ross asked, what wild conclusion should we jump to? Due to the Nerlens Noel minimum contract news, yeah, I, I mentioned this in a text yesterday. Is I think that I, I wonder if they talk to him about possibly like, hey, come one more year, you'll continue to improve the way you did this last year, and we're gonna minute restrict Stephen in order to pr preserve his health, and you, you'll be able to play second night at back to back. You'll be able to play. <laughs> Taylor Taylor's getting frustrated with his dogs was pretty funny. Uh, but maybe that's the, that's that's my guess, like filling in wild speculations. Like maybe yeah. they said, hey, you can come. We'll pay you this amount of money and you'll get more minutes because we're going to we're going to kind of keep Steven. I'm a little bit more limited just so we can preserve him. So that's just my speculation. But that's I don't what you that hope. Is. That's what you hope. Right. That's Where it's like, hey, you come back and you'll be Steven's because we're going to trade. You're, Steven. You'll replace Steven in the starting lineup. That's wild. It would be wild. It would be. I don't think it's going to happen, but it would be wild. It just wouldn't make uh, it, That's what everybody's filling in the blanks because, like, why, why did Nerlens really sign here? I know. What? How about this? What if he liked it? What if he liked nah. being on the team? No. Nope. What? Just if? throwing that out there. Like, he may, nope. he may, he may like the organization, give him some stability. And then, honestly, next season, there are not a lot of good free agents and it may just be another player it's like okay you're gonna play for oklahoma city let's run it back let's see if we can get you to free agency next year and see if we can get you a bigger deal because they're they probably looked around and and knew what other teams wanted to give Nerlens. it was probably more than one year deal maybe like two years 10 million was there was that was a popular deal that was given to a lot of centers <laughs> and Maybe maybe he's like, I want more than that. It's like, well, you're going to have to wait if you want more than that. Why are you laughing? Me? Yeah. I'm laughing at myself. Okay. <laughs> How excited are you guys to follow the Bucks this year? There uh, would not be a team, I in my mind, more enjoyable to be a media member for. Oh, because of the Lopez guys I love and it. Wes Matthews. And, yeah. yeah. It would be a blast. What do you think about the Wes Matthews for Brogdon? swap i mean obviously i don't think they're the same 
They're not the same. Uh, they're two different people. Um, <laughs> two different humans. I, I think for as much as you c- could rebound from losing a player that was so important to you, um, I think the Bucks did a pretty good job of yeah. pivoting, right? Wes Matthews, they re-signed George Hill. You know, that's not the same. It's a lot of Eric Bledsoe. A lot of Eric Bledsoe. And he was so yeah. average in the playoffs. Well, I mean, the issue is that they already had Eric Bledsoe signed to way too much money, right? And they couldn't give Malcolm Brogdon what he needed. Yeah. Or it was better to build out the team if they didn't pay Malcolm Brogdon and then could get – like, Wes Matthews on the minimum? That's, that's a good deal. That's a – that's a good deal, when. Uh, uh, but man, I bet they're kicking themselves in the B because uh, they have Eric Bledsoe and they should have had Brogdon. You yeah, know? but Bledsoe was really good in the regular season. Like he found the best version of himself. But yeah, yeah. but you would you'd rather have Brogdon than Bledsoe. Yeah, Brogdon was out ninety percent of the season this year, wasn't he? Who wasn't Brogdon no. out a lot of the season? He played sixty four games. Mm, he just missed maybe the first round of the playoffs. I don't know. I don't follow Milwaukee close enough, but yeah. I mean, the thing with Start Brogdon paying is, attention. I know Brogdon is one of those guys where I get told by a lot of smart people that I should think he's really, 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 really good. 50, 40, 90. 50, 40, 90. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. That is really good. He, I mean, he's a, he, Wes Matthews. I think that we have Wes Matthews built up in our heads a little bit. Mm-hmm. He just signed for honest. a minimum to Milwaukee. Yeah. Um, Brogdon's super good. Super good. I don't They're think you can him. see it as a as a swap. No, no, I don't no. think you can look at it as like a Brogdon West Matthews like trade out because I do think money is the issue. Yep. I do think it's just it's all a contract situation. And what else? How else are you going to build out your team if you're paying it all to Brogdon and Giannis? And you're going to have to pay Brogdon. Or so. You have to play Gian- Giannis is available for the is it next year? Some sort of gigantic extension at the end of it. He'll be making fifty million a year. Is that correct? <laughs> Damn. Yep. yep. Fifty mil a year. Yeah. Yeah. That's why Chris Evans is worth thirty it. million dollars. Chris Evans, Captain America, thirty million dollars. <laughs> Giannis made fifty in one season. <sighs> yep. That is crazy, man. Chris Evans deserves much more. We texted <laughs> about this. He he should fire his agent if he is only. Are you telling me he's only made thirty million? It's his net worth. I don't it's know. His, that yeah, means. that's what he's totally oh. worth, like with all his assets. So he's pissing away a bunch of money then. So he has a money problem. Sure. Hey, you know you know what it's time for? Twitter questions. Twitter questions. It's that time. We all know and love Twitter questions. Our first Twitter question comes from at Winskill1969. <laughs> nice. Bing, bing. Who wants to know what is the one thing that makes you say, hell yeah, America? This is for you, Luke. What's the one thing that makes me say, hell yeah, America? Uh, Dually trucks. (laughs) Mud mud wagons. Mud wagons. Dooleys. When when it's got a Hemi. Yeah. That's me. That's pretty KC lights. Oh, man. KC lights, a big big grill on the front of a, that a billet grill billet grill in the front of a mud ass wagon yeah agreed <laughs> oh uh, man taylor follow speaking up speaking of speaking of mud ass geez today's gonna be a hard one <laughs> and he's jay uh, i was gonna say the hot dog eating competition oh joey joey chestnut 12 years in a row I was talking about How this yesterday. Eat? 71? 71. Yeah. They yeah. gotta test that guy for something. PEDs. I don't know what. Yeah. What well, they need to let Kobayashi back in the contest. Didn't he cheat or something with that? I think he had some uh performance enhancing um substances. They he te- or or he I think it was take? that he wouldn't test he wouldn't let them test. It's like a bunch of Pepto? It. Like what do you take? I don't know. Um, but he didn't but he wouldn't either. I, I don't know which one way it is, but they need to bring him back. Yeah. What other country celebrates their Independence Day by like, hey, man, let's get everybody on a stage. Yeah. One time we <laughs> just many hot Can he dogs eat 71 day. hot dogs? 
someone was telling me about Joey Chestnut, like the 48 hours after he eats 71 hot dogs, which is the which is like over 20,000 calories happening within 30 minutes. And he just has to like, he has to sleep for like the next 48 hours, but he has to lay on a certain side to promote digestion. And every four hours, do you just I, in the bathroom. You just have to feel so miserable for so yeah. long. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're purging is world after famous, the though. competition now. Are they? I don't think that's right. Yeah. You think, think they? You think that they're making yeah. themselves vomit? I don't think that's right, dude. I don't think you can. I don't think your body can actually hold on to and break down seventy-one hot dogs at one time. I think it takes about forty-eight hours, and you got to lay on a certain way they, to promote digestion. They say you're, they say your stomach don't do is that. only like don't do what you're the doing. size of your fist. Yeah. <laughs> I okay. These are not normal eating. These are not people that eat normally, though. Um, he he has trained his body to accept those seventy one hot dogs in that well, amount of time, and he's not a big dude. Not not like when you talk like in your mind, like professional eater, you think like. Gigantic, you know, gigantic, no. big, like they have to reinforce the stage. Not the case. <laughs> but I think, but uh, someone was also telling me before he does, he, before a thing, like on Sunday night of this week, he had salmon because it greases the system, the digestive tract. And it then it he, it? Um, it promotes digestion. And then he doesn't eat until the contest. I mean, that would make sense. Is it worth it? He's a bro. Is it worth it? I mean, like that's what he does. That's yeah. true. That's why we know. No, his it's name. not worth it. They only get paid ten thousand dollars. Yeah, but I think he has the sponsors. Winner. I mean, oh, that's a good point. I'm assuming one of them's Nathan's hot dogs. There's, there's, there's some shadow money in, in hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> part of it's his con- rich. Part rich of his, his part of his net worth is uh his role. That's all they get. Space paid? Jam That's too. all he gets paid for winning. Ten thousand dollars to the winner. I think that day. I bet he does appearances and like that day and like leading up to it. I bet there's more. Look up Joey Chestnut's net, net worth, worth, please. Oh my gosh, 000. he's worth more than Captain America. It's the first. He's oh estimated. Oh my god, he makes forty million dollars a year. <laughs> uh, nine hundred thousand dollars. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Not pretty bad. Good. Not bad. That's his net worth for dying in like five years. Uh, uh, it said. He easily makes five hundred thousand a year between a combination of winnings and sponsorship. You think that Boom. he eats hot dogs on any other occasion? I bet not. Because how do you go from like like oh, I'll just have a hot dog? J- Joey, stop, Joey. You this, can, this, this is not the day. <laughs> what? Yeah, and you also anytime he sits down, his <laughs> hey, you know what I eat for every meal. At least twenty hot dogs. <laughs> At least twenty hot dogs. Just gotta grease the skids, man. Get ready to go. Do you think he eats all of his food super fast? Like, <laughs> he's like sitting down at the table with his family? folding up pizza and dipping it in water <laughs> and shoving it. In like, Stop. <laughs> no, Joey. Joey, be normal. <laughs> this is a nice restaurant. Right. <laughs> oh man. Oh, he just debuted his new condiment line. Yeah, so I was he, looking at that. What's it? What is it called? He runs marathon distances. Uh, chestnut. Chestnut. Next so he has a chest, chestnut firecracker mustard, boardwalk coney sauce, and deli style mustard with prices ranging from five dollars to six fifty. Oh wow! I, I bet Joey Chest, JoeyChestnut.com. Wow. Next question. I'm not always cramming down hot dogs real fast on Fourth of July. When I like to take a hot dog nice and slow, I can do my deli style <laughs> mustard, <laughs> my firecracker mustard. <laughs> So does anything make you say hell yeah America? They look pretty good, man. Sriracha teriyaki. Um, I know what makes Jay say hell yeah America. Getting a great suntan and just glowing. I'm like, yeah. I got so sunburned. You're glowing. You look great. Ew, listen to this. Listen to this. Uh, his first major victory came in 2005 when he ate six and a half pounds of fried asparagus. Wow. In 11 and a half minutes. That's disgusting. <laughs> Agreed. His whole life is disgusting. Agreed. You know who hates oh. him more than anything? His toilet. Oh. His freaking wife hates him. <laughs> hey, guys. Let's move on to our next Twitter question. question. It comes from at H underscore Claw. Who wants to know your favorite 4th of July 
beer to drink. It's just for you, man. Oh, wow. Not, you know, if you <laughs> hand it to me, I'll take it. A beer. Any of them. Yeah. I mean, yesterday I had some. They asked what your favorite is, though. They I didn't do, ask what you had. Do I really have a favorite? Mm, yeah, we no. all know your favorite. Taylor, what's Luke's favorite 4th of July beer? Bud Light. I was wrong. Bud Light. yesterday I had some Coors Light. Oh. Wow. And have you seen in my fridge? You know what I have a lot right now? <laughs> Topo Chico's? Miller Light. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I saw that. I know I'm a... Uh... I have a pretty complex palette. Hey, guys, let's move on to our next Twitter question. It comes from at like underscore a underscore Bloss, who says, if you could pick up any of this year's free agents that are still on the market to help us host the Fry Pod, who would it be and why? To help host the Fry Pod. Hmm. Hmm. You know, I like to think we're pretty... Um, Kawhi? Funny on the, on the podcast. Yeah. So I would like to have Kawhi just to be laughing. <laughs> people i would actually like lance stevenson oh shoot i don't know if you would he would dominate yeah you, you guys would your egos would clash big time yeah that's probably true um marcus morris marcus morris would be would be great i think he's actually a great interview javel mcgee no no mm. no he's just too dumb how mean. mean um <laughs> danny green would be awesome I yeah think danny green great. would be great he does a podcast yeah he'd be legitimately like good yeah there's not also looking at this is there's not a whole lot of great free agents left no there's not i would choose danny green danny green Final decision. he would have the best stories yeah he's won championships oh he played for stuff pop for a decade about pop. i mean he would be the best yep <laughs> All right, let's move on to our next Twitter question. Comes from Matt Davis. Capel says, "Dre is back. We added Burks, Ferguson. We added Burks, Ferguson, and Diallo are older. What does the rotation of at shooting guard look like next season? And what do you want the rotation to be?" I think that Robertson's not the shooting guard on this team anymore. I think he no. he's the backup to. Um, Paul. So yeah, I think that he is. So I think, <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. I, I also wonder if he's going to take some time backing up Grant. He might. I mean, it'd be great. So you're looking at wing rotation, basically. Yeah, I think Ferguson starts again. Yep. I have no reason. The only thing that would have changed that to me is if they signed a free agent that appeared to be better yeah. than what he is. And so I think they're going to continue to try to grow his role with the team and hopefully that hope that he gets better over the summer. And then I think Alec Burks is his backup. And then I think honestly, like Hami and Deontay and Baisley, I don't think those guys are going to be given automatic minutes, which I think is the right way to handle it. Right. Earn them. And if those, if any of those guys appear in the rotation, it's because that they have played better than a guy like Burks, or played better than Mascala, or played better than what um, than what Dre can do. And so I think that ends up being a good thing for the team. But I I do think that all those guys are going to be fighting for minutes. They're going to be practice players to a large degree, unless they can show something. If if Diallo can show like an improved consistency you know, from three point line. He can hit a yeah, if he can hit a corner three really he or Deontay. If either of them can hit a corner three with consistency, you might see those guys a little yeah. bit more. But that's what I would expect going into the season. Yep. I agree. Let's move on to our next sort of question. It comes from at Geeky William who wants to know what are our thoughts on Stephen A. Smith saying he heard Durant left because of Presty and not Westbrook. Will this change any narrative about Westbrook? No. <laughs> the Westbrook narrative is pretty is pretty uh, baked set, in at this point. It's set in stone. Yeah. The, I mean. the annoying thing that's happening right now, though, is um, Kendra Perkins. Like, I, I, I don't know if I believe anything he's saying. Is it because he changes his opinion literally on a day-to-day -day basis? <laughs> I mean, it, it, him, and, and then it's just like, somehow he's getting a camera and a microphone on every single possible platform. It's pretty great. 
No, it's terrible. <laughs> it's he just makes up stuff. <laughs> he's, he can, just, he's just talking. So wild, man. He's just talking. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that it changes the narrative on that. Is it and true? I, I have I have not heard that. The the Sam Presti stuff. I have heard that it wasn't like Russell wasn't the reason that he left. But there was some friction between those two, certainly. But there's obviously a lot of friction between Kevin and other guys that are good, too. And then you have the whole thing coming back where Kevin told Russ at that dinner that he was going to come back. Mm -hmm. And then Perkins affirmed that. I mean, it, I don't Perk know. wasn't on the team. I'm though. so glad. Know, man. I'm so glad that we get to relive all of this over again. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Perk was not on that team. I'm sure that he's heard some things. I don't know, man. I I it don't may, think it changes anything, though, to be honest. John Hamm uh, tweeted about this, too. But what makes me mad is, it, like, Stephen A. Smith has had that information for a long time. And why did they wait until Kevin Durant left Golden State? Why didn't this come out, like, before? And it did come out a little bit before. I mean, people were talking about how KD told Russ and Nick that he was coming back that um, and that info didn't. is that came out like a couple of days after kevin left in royce's article i know yeah but like the, it's treated as though this is brand new information to the yeah, rest of the world it's stupid yeah and one of the other things they did talk about like supposedly durant got frustrated because instead of going and getting veterans to add to the roster to make a run right now, Presti continued to try to build for the future. Also not a new information. That was out but years yeah, ago. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That was the conversation. Yeah. So that would be where I would think maybe there was a Presti part of that. If that would I mean, be Presti's it. controlling. I mean, like, there's no doubt about that. Like there's I I mean, if that if that were true, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be. Yeah. Presti's really good at his job, but a lot of guys that are really good at their jobs like that, they have to have control over what's going on. Mm -hmm. True. Very true. Let's move on to our next Twitter question. It comes from at Boy Bridgman, who wants our thoughts on the Abrinus return to basketball video. It looks like he is about to dunk again. And uh, at Boy Bridgman made a Twitter just to ask this. He loves the show. I'm about to die. Luke, you want to answer this? Thank you, Boy Bridgman, for for creating a Twitter account. We thought it was a great video. We're yeah. really we're really glad that it seems I like thought he's it was doing good. Better. It's good to see him doing well again. It also came. He signed a <laughs> three year contract with Barcelona, so it looks like he's going to get back on the court and not here for the NBA. So good for Alex. We hope he gets healthy. It seems like he's getting that way. And uh, next question, Luke, you coward. It sounds like it. He's he's about to dunk. I'm very glad. Hey guys, our next Twitter question comes from at Bradzilla Yo, who wants to know why does no team, including the Thunder, have interest in Boogie, which he spelled Boggy. <laughs> he was an All Star in the West a little over a year ago. KD has a similar injury and gets near max Boogie or Boggy crickets. I think Bo he, I Boggy think he crickets. means Boggy, which he means um, I don't know. Humphrey Bogart. Bone dog. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know. I mean DeMarcus Cousins brings a lot of baggage with him wherever yeah, so he goes. Multiple layers to it. Number one, the center position is the the least valuable it's ever been. So a lot of centers in the league. A lot of centers. Number two, DeMarcus Cousins on top of that brings a high <laughs> expectation for usage, for dominance. He's yeah. He also brings attitude. And those, those, it's a combination that doesn't make people really jack to bring him onto their team. Like he's, he did pretty well in Golden State, and but you saw some of those you can't issues. Defend. Issues make their way to the front in the finals. Like, yep. He brought. He was really. He worked his butt off to get back there. He worked mm -hmm. really hard in Game Six. Mm -hmm. Played well. Um, but man, there were times where literally. They made the choice to bench him. Like Kevon Looney started over him in game he, six. If Kevin stayed healthy, he was not going to play. Yep. So, so I don't know. I mean, if you're the Lakers, I mean, you're going to try to win the title, right? Yeah. They're going to sign Boogie. Is Demarcus Cousins going to help you win the title? No. So they may not. I bet they do. They also like flashy ads, and I mean, if Kawhi, if Kawhi chooses not to go to the Lakers, they're going to have twenty, no, thirty million dollars sitting there to sign what? I mean, who else 
would be. A There's candidate. nobody. I'm not kidding. I gave you those names. So for them right now, if you wanted a point guard, or Jean Rondo, and then unrestricted Quinn Cook or Jeremy Lin. Everybody else is restricted. Tyus Jones, DeLon Wright, Alex Caruso, who's already your guy. Unless did they trade him? Mm-hmm. He's still there. He's still there. If you go to shooting guard, Danny Green, we assume is going to go back to Toronto if Kawhi does as well. That's my assumption. Maybe we're wrong. Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah. they can get Danny Green. So you have KCP familiar with the Lakers. Uh, you have Lance Stevenson, Justin Holiday, which we've talked about makes sense. Amon Shumpert, Jamal Crawford, Vince Carter, Jody Meeks. Yeah. Let's yeah. go small or let's go forwards. Marcus Morris, maybe that would kind of maybe make sense. He's good. Yeah. Uh, Jabari Parker. Oh, gosh. Jabari. Kelly Oubre was restricted, which I assume Phoenix would try to keep him. Kenneth Fareed, Rondé Hollis Jefferson, Jamichael Green. That's a lot of forwards. Like, what are they going to, what are all those guys going to do? Land somewhere on minimums. I'd rather have several of those guys than Mike. Jamichael Green? <laughs> Come on, wouldn't you rather have Jermichael Green than know. Michael Scott? I mean, that's, that's I mean, that's, stop, that's, Jay. Stop. I'm just saying that there's literally very little difference to them in my mind. I don't think any one, either one of them is like some enormous game changer. What Ronde? I don't even remember him. I used to get him and KCP confused because they both <laughs> have three names. <laughs> yeah, that's all it takes to confuse you. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a simple man. What about Jabari <laughs> Parker, man? Would you take what him is... or Muscala? Mm, I'd probably take Jabari. <laughs> I'm with that one. Yeah. I'd, I'd like Jabari Parker. I hope. <laughs> Jabari Parker? <laughs> Just because I like to call him Jabooby Pooper. Okay. I really hope Muscala is just unbelievable. I am. I'm Why are scarred. You, that's not going to happen. I am scarred by free agent signings like this in the past. I'm scarred by Kyle Singler. Valid. I'm scarred by Patrick Patterson, and I'm not going and, to let myself. And both of those guys were better than Muscala before they signed him. Uh, yeah. So you're I, hoping the opposite happens. Right. This is his breaking out. <laughs> there we I'm just go. not, That's I'm not, I'm not ready to fall for it. I think he's a capable shooter. I don't think he's anything else. I have no idea. I really don't know what, I don't know. I watched a couple videos and playing, and I know the name. But I, I I don't know what to expect. I don't have high expectations for him. But Jabari Land, man, this is I'm worried about him. Worried. Back to the Wizards, maybe actually. Hey guys, let's move on to our next Twitter question. It comes from at Bangelope. Who wants to know? Would you rather have a snow cone or an ice cream cone on a hot summer day? Snow cone. Snow cone. Snow cone. Ice cream cone, this is why. I don't get my ice cream on a cone. It drips too much on my hand. I get ice cream in a cup. How slow are you eating the ice cream? It just takes time, man. I'm definitely it takes time. I'm a cone man. Like I'll use a waffle cone. Yeah. Yeah. But I do a snow cone in the summer. Yeah. I like okay okay. today. Some good homemade ice cream though. I'd go ice cream. What what kind what What kind of ice cream we go? It doesn't matter, man. What dip you getting? Whatever, man. Okay. <laughs> Any. Do you prefer a creamy cream or a sherbet? Oh, oh, do you like a creamy cream or a sherbet? <laughs> creamy cream. I'll tell you what, a sherbet over uh, the summer is pretty good, though. Yeah, man. Nice sherbet or sorbet over a creamy cream is all day. sherbet and like sorbet really spelled heavy... the same? Sherbet. No. They're it's different. Like They're different things, too. They're made differently. I believe sherbet has sherbet? milk in it. It's actually how you're, it's spelled. Yes. Isn't that wild? Yeah. There's no R in it, bet. Sherbet. But, sherbet. But sorbet, I think, does not have milk in it. Sorbet. And I think those are the differences. One is palate cleansing. One is uh, just pure enjoyment. <laughs> <laughs> one is... One is palate wrecking. On sherbet. You like orange or lime? Both. Sherbert. Both. Orange, dude. Sure. You ever had a sorbet. freeze from Brahms? A freeze? They do it with uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. the sherberts. No, those are legit. What do they do? I think they put a little Sprite in, a little soda, blend oh, it all up instead of using milk. That's exactly right. It's orange sherbet and uh, Sprite, and they blend it up. So good. Try it. You need to do it. Are you looking it up? No. <laughs> You're looking up Austin Powers, <laughs> the orange sherbet scene from Austin Powers? Oh, <laughs> remind me of it. Is, is... Orange sherbet. There you go. Okay. That's a great reminder. Are we are we 
do, are we wanting to keep going or how are we keep it I going th- man i think we've been here for two Just hours knock out two more okay two more it is sherbet sherbet where where Don't are we getting closer. the extra r i don't know why do we do that i don't know my whole life i know me too Literally, where did that come from i learned that this year in st louis i have a friend who said it's sherbet and i said uh oh, pardon me hey sherbet. guys yeah Let's you guys move. are a bunch Sherbet. of losers. Sherbet. Sherbet. Let's move on. I hate that. I hate that. We don't have well, to say it like that. I mean, what was the... There's should. that... I hate being incorrect. It's one of my favorite About Twitter things. things say, right? how, old, how old were you when you found out that this has happened and people were like, I was now... You, I was yeah, now I was old. today years old. I was today years old. Today years old. That's today. Learn how old were you when you heard Sherbet? Sherbet is how it's I've never heard anyone in my life old. say that. Because everyone's stupid, man. Everyone is stupid. I man. just like getting a sherbet at the end of a a sherbet a, a sherbet at the end of a <laughs> uh, a nice meal at uh, Shogun's. Ooh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. yeah that's oh, what yeah. that's when I have it traditionally. Man, man you're right. Good. You're right. Just you guys been to Shogun's lately? Yeah, no, man. but I want to go. I ended up not going the other day because you told me it was bad, and then I had other people went there. I said, no, it's still yeah, incredible. it's good. Here's the problem. It's good. Here's the problem: is really I can't go alone. And I want to. I wish that were socially acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> please go alone. Get Just yourself please, a nice little sure, you know. Because the, the soup that they give and the salad that they give are the it's the best the ginger starter dressing. in the game. There's and nothing better. You know what they don't do at Masashi's? Is you don't get a freaking shrimp appetizer. Here's the thing. Yeah, I was man. I was somewhere wow. and it was specifically said that Masashi's is trash. I don't oh, like Masashi's. Uh, Shogun's better. Shogun's, Shogun's is better. Shogun's is better. <sighs> What? I'm out. What? What about uh, both? Out. On Musashi's and Shogun's? You've I'm, not been I'm, to Musashi's. I'm out. Why? They're just got not a bad good. Chef. It's 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 oh, a meal it's and a show. Yeah, the meal's not good though. Show's fine. The meal's no. Good. The meal's what? way better than the show. Are you? What do you get? What do you get? I did go one time like to Shogun, and they the rice was overcooked, and so it was like crunchy. Not my favorite experience. Mm, see, I don't mind. But last rice. time I went, it was really really good. It's good. Let's go. I do the royal combination, which is steak yeah. and chicken. Yeah. Hell yeah. And you get some shrimp. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We did that too. Did that yeah. too. Sweet, baby. Not good. Let's hey, go after this. Taylor, you know start driving uh, down to OKC. Drink your little Topo Chico, man. I'm telling you. Jay, okay. I have to correct you. Go ahead, the baby. The royal combination is shrimp and steak. It is not steak and chicken. Which one do I get then? The samurai or something? I'm on it. Yeah, I know. I think so. Whatever you, it is. You've, 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 we don't need, the, you've said what it is, but you just don't know the name. You get that you get the chicken and uh, steak. I'm about to prove Taylor wrong. I think. Yeah, whatever. It's not good. You're not. I've been to Shogun th- maybe 40 times. Swear to God. You ever been I on- go. So my family, my family's a Shogun family. Have you ever been so alone? Two, no, two birthdays out of the year out of my family. We're going to Shogun. I can't tell you how many of those. You know the samurai thing they do at the end when they can take your picture and put it in a card. Oh uh-huh. yeah, I got a couple. Of we those. have. 20 25 of them and we always make silly faces from years from like 13 year old taylor to now wow see that's good. Uh, that's that's just tradition i think tradition tastes good to you so you what about it do you not like the taste and the, the taste yeah the taste and everything about you it. don't like anything about the soup you don't like the salad you don't like the the, it's the, the samurai steak. taylor the samurai is what i was talking about you yeah, disgust me. I'm just I've been right. Some you disgust me. You are. You're so good. Do you do you not do you dip dip it in the sauces? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine, dude. No, it's not fine. But you're never a place. It's like oh, that's fine. I'm never gonna choose to go there. So you're never like I would like to go to Shogun. Agreed. Yes. Wow, man. I want to go today because we're talking. So <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, come on down, man. Take Luke to Shogun. Let's go, man. Luke. I'd All rather have, have a double decker taco. Hey, we'll pretend that it's your birthday. I'd rather have a double decker taco. You would rather have a double decker taco than Shogun's. 100%. What from where? Double decker taco from where? From Taco Bell. Dude. And you, I haven't had one of those this, in maybe dude, a decade. You are. When was the last? How long? When was the last time you went to Shogun's? Um, it was like a year and a half ago. Pretty recently. Yeah. Pretty recent bad experience. That's just maybe just you had a bad. Chat. We waited forever, and there was nobody there. That's on kind of, a Friday that's, night. That's the normal Shogun experience. I just never had, had an issue. With maybe their maybe you nobody, just had a bad. Maybe you just had a bad night. Nobody there. The food was bland. It was not not a cool time. Throwing that out there. 
How mad are you right now, Taylor? The food was bland. Yeah. Man. They- okay. You had some like pull this guy off the street. We're too busy. We don't have any cooks. We're too busy. There was nobody else there but us. What do you mean bland? Those Japanese flavors and Tasteless. spices bring ultimate umami flavor, <laughs> and it's never been bland in my life. Well, I agree. Andrew, I think you're wrong. I think you were sick when you went. Do you have the other microphone not, up there? It was definitely not sick. Taylor? All right. What? You keep turning your head like there's a microphone there's over there. <laughs> there is one. That's where the microphone is. <laughs> I thought it was just on your headphone. All right. Nope. We're doing more Twitter questions. Come on, man. Run through. All right. Okay. Ad right. Benelka King want, asked, do you think Burton is too slim and trim? No way, man. He looks good. He looks good. He needed he needed to drop some poundage. You can't weigh 250 and be six foot five and no. like that a have a sustainable daddy. NBA career. At Paul R. Valentine asked, the Warriors had a death lineup. What should the Knicks call their lineup of five power forwards playing at once? <laughs> 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 I don't that. have anything. I just thought it was a great question. I don't know. <laughs> big old, big old boys. The corpse of Porzingis. <sighs> the slow death lineup. <laughs> slow, slow death. The slow, slow death. death. <laughs> Jay, do you have any other Twitter questions? At OKC Dunder Mifflo one asks, how did you all meet, including Mikey Barra and Al Baby Cakes? I feel like it's always good to just kind of rehash this moment. How do we meet Michele? Uh, through Twitter? Yeah. I met him through Twitter. And he was just very, very smart and helped yep. me out with some projects that I was doing with Vantage Sports. And then uh, we talked draft a lot. And then I was like, why don't you just come on the podcast? He's the man. He is the man. Alex and I have known each other since kindergarten. You went to school together? Yep. Yeah. When did you come into the picture, Luke? I met Andrew in the sixth grade. Yeah. Well, then, but I knew of him in the fifth grade. It's actually a great story because he stole my girlfriend. I remember that. Yeah. I yeah. know. And uh, and so I hated him. But then I met him in sixth grade, and uh, then we've and we are friends ever since. Yep. And uh, and then we met Jay right after summer after. You probably were going into eighth grade. Probably going into seventh. Maybe I think we seventh. were going into, into the seventh. It's been yeah. 1998. So yeah. would have been. <laughs> at a church camp, I was Andrew and Luke's small group leader. I was a junior, going to be a junior in high school. And I was their small group leader at Disciple Camp, yep. and and my uncle Preston, and I, I know, and I li- we stayed in the. No, this had been ninety nine, and we stayed. It in was ninety nine. We stayed sure. in the bunk house yeah. together, and, and I so and it was your, like and your cousin. And my it cousin, was a collection, yeah. both of them, three of them. Actually. Jake, no, not in our group. Jake, Jake was in Jake the group. was in our group. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but Jake, Joey, and Preston, and Ethan were all not, not Ethan. Ethan. Was he not Elliot? There? Elliot, Elliot. Yeah. Yeah. We're all in the same cabin together. Yes. It was wild. I got so sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. then, so a- that's how I met these two guys. I met Taylor. Taylor was a student in when oh, I was a youth minister. Uh, that's where I met Taylor. True. Ta- True. I was your I was a leader at Taylor's church camp in high school, right? Well, so was I. I think we yeah. both were. Yeah. I think we both were at one yeah. time. Yeah. It's all a so true. very church connected. It's all connected through a church camp. And then friendship bloomed, blossomed, blossom bloomed. Our friendships have very little to do with church now. <laughs> That's actually true. <laughs> it's actually true. It's all b ball all the time, baby. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> I got one more question for you. But before I ask that, I want to talk to you about Oklahoma Shirt Company. Bing, bing. $10 shirt of the month. $10 gets you a shirt. It can be Oklahoma themed or what other state? Jay, Texas, Kansas are the only two they have right now. So check them out. Oklahoma shirt company.com. You can also go to Texas shirt company.com or Texas shirt of the month.com. Tejas. Tejas. But if you're in another state and you want a shirt every month, you can talk to them and they can make one just for you. They also do all your marketing needs. So if you want to do stickers, hats, yetis with laser engraved, you want to do shorts, you want to do bath towels. They have monogramming like they do it all. They can do embroidery, not monogramming. I guess that's similar kind of. But they can take care of you. Like, whatever needs you have, go to OklahomaShirtCompany.com. Tell them down to dunk since you support the people that support us. Oh, yeah. And the question that I was talking about just 30 seconds ago is, are you miffed and are you paved? Miff, 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 miffed and paved. I'm miffed at you guys. 
Here's why. <laughs> Here's why. At my house, Taylor, I'm not miffed at you. Here's why. I talked earlier in a miffed peeved earlier in the year about the the uh, sex cats having uh, intercourse in my backyard ever since I got my bird feeder. Oh, yeah. And they're howling at night, and uh, they're generally <laughs> pretty gross. So on Tuesday night. Is this one of their children, do you think? Hmm? Is this one of their children? I don't, I don't think. think so. But this I don't one know. is pretty mangy. When you look, when you get pretty close, it's pretty mangy. Yes, it's getting, it's got some issues. So here's the thing: on Wednesday night, I guess it was, I was <laughs> here at my house. I opened the door to go out to like get you know food or something, and there are four cats outside right at my door. <laughs> yeah, and so I put some uh, videos on Instagram about them, and it, I'm just not real excited about the whole thing they eventually skedaddle when my uh sprinkler <laughs> starts and um and they're just really gross and so this oh, we morning need sprinkler. what we needed, we needed a sprinkler yeah so this morning i wake up don't set an alarm so i hear people coming inside my house i think i'm <laughs> being robbed and then they are saying one of the cats is inside. <laughs> one of the cats is inside, and they let in the the grossest of the of the four. Who is also <laughs> not even remotely afraid of anything. No, we were doing everything in our little repertoire uh, to try to get that cat to get out of here. We kind of gently nudged him with our foot. We did our like hissing sound. We get out of here. Ah, come on. Ah. Oh, skeet, skeet out of here, and uh, <laughs> and it was Come inside, on, yeah, and it was inside my house, which I'm not. I'm just I'm worried about fleas with <laughs> with the cats, if I'm being completely honest. <laughs> and so that cat was so personable. I feel like you need to just take it in and make it yours. The thing is, I can't. You you're you're suggesting taking it to the animal shelter and doing that, but they're going to kill it because it's black cat. People do not adopt black cats. Is that true? Yeah. Hmm. First off, that's stupid. Number two, no, it's racist. I mean, yeah, either way. <laughs> but what the... <laughs> but that that is true. They have a they have a very hard time. They have a very hard time um, doing that. And around Halloween, they don't they don't like to give them out because people think they kill them. Yeah. The so thing, what do you want to do? I think needs to be uh, put together a little bit. Well, <laughs> he needs a vet visit. Well, I'm not. I, here's the thing. I'm not gonna in. Because multiple people reach out to me like, you should let them in and you should feed them and you should adopt them. One, that's four cats. <laughs> yeah, That's a whole lot of cats. <laughs> and second, I, if I take this mangy cat to the vet, mm -hmm. there's, you know, worm medicine. There's, you know, shots. fleas medicine. There's shots. There's, you know, probably getting neutered. Like, that's hundreds <laughs> of dollars it is. for it's me to have <laughs> this yard cat invited and so home. check out luke's gofundme at <laughs> sukleavens.com uh, no just go straight to the finmo just at sukleavens <laughs> give me some money and i'll give the, i'll leave them out some uh cat food or something plus Why, uh, plus plus it's not it doesn't know how to use a litter box there's so many little cat poops all over my house <laughs> yeah it's gonna be bad i don't like that Pee, poop yeah. all over you technically <laughs> already have a cat it's just an outside cat it's a yard cat <laughs> You have four. I have four. Cats. There's four. Why, why I'm pretty sure four? there's there more like than that, buddy. Crew? There's about to be because I know what they're doing at night. <laughs> I know yeah. there's about to be a lot more. I'm real what concerned. Does it sound like? What does it sound like? It sounds like this. Hey! 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 Look out the window, they're already staring at you. Yeah, they're both just looking. No, they're staring straight into each other's face. It's just screaming back and forth. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening to the podcast. That's the best ending of maybe ever happened. She's waiting for us. Do you need to get a spray bottle or something? Do you have a spray bottle? I just don't.